Last Sunday, Jumapili iliyopita, we were cruising on the issues of the of the rising and the death of our Lord Jesus. Tulikuwa tunaongelea kuhusu kufana kufuka kwa Yesu Kristo. And we said after Jesus rose from the dead, tukasema Yesu baada ya kufuka toka kwa kufu, forty days, akachukua siku 44, proving beyond any reason about that. Akithibitisha bila shaka yoyote that he was alive. Ya kwamba yuko hai. And since the so called Easter Monday, na kutoka Easter Monday, for the next forty days, na siku 44 zizokuwa, Jesus appeared to different people. Yesu alijitokeza kwa watu tofauti, proving that he was alive. Akithibitisha kwamba and that is what you are seeing last time. Haya ndio tulikuwa tunaona Jumapili iliyopita. That two cars. Hiyo ikatupeleka to Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah 61 and verse number 3. Mstari wa 3. Please whoever is giving me, please be fast today. Everybody say with me and provide for those who give in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called ox of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. If you read verse 5, Jesus said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to do what? He has anointed me to do what? To provide for those who give in Zion. So that to bestow on them beauty where they have have had ashes to rest of them oil of gladness instead of mourning government of praise instead of the spirit of despair and they shall be called the planting of the Lord the ox of righteousness for the display of his for the display of his splendor and we agreed God want to make you and me na mimi to be a display tuwe kitu cha kuonyesha what is a display this prayer is for those people who like window shopping. As well, you put big glasses. And inside they have put cameras. They have put some men who are statues and they have worn shoes. They are like this and they are not talking. Wana display ile suit. Wanaonyesha hiyo suit. Na viatu. Na viatu. Na saa. Na saa. Eh? eh? Na tie na na shirt. Na shirt. Arabu imeandikwa bei. Imeandikwa bei pale. Ah, that's a display. Sasa hiyo ndio display. 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 That's where they put meat. Ni mahali wanaweka nyama. Unakuta nyama imenona. Nyama iko kwa kio. Lakini kuna kio. Eh? Sasa unapita una kwanza unasema hey muadhani Jehova. Kaeno ni ya Nora. Hai. Eno ni ya na saa hiyo huna chochote kwa hivyo unakulia kwa kio tukaenda baka tukona kuna suku sina kuku sina sungukaga kuku zenye zina sungukaga hivyo unazionea kwa kio siki sunguka zina samasot kwa kio zina sunguka ziki was a brown unaona moja ambaye ni kubwa na ni brown kuliko ziki unaifu wata unaifu wata na macho unaifu wata unazungusha na nae unaifu wata lakini badaya unaenda nyubani bila kukura unaenda nyubani bila kukura kwa sababu mesa sasa hiyo siyo mapesi ya mungu Bwana asifuwe But the word is God want to make you a display Mungu angependa kufanya display God want to make you a family Anataka fanya familia yako To be a display Kuwa ya kuonyesha Your life Maisha yako To be a display Kuwa ya kuonyesha Your children Watoto To be a display Kuwa ya kuonyesha Come on Bwana asifuwe Bwana asifuwe Bwana asifuwe Bwana asifuwe So that when people see them Ili watu wanapo waona They can be happy Wanaweza frahia I don't know whether Margaret and my brother Njogu can remember Sijui kama Margaret and Njogu Njogu wanaweza kumbuka When we were young, tulipokuwa wadogo, we have to sing. Tulipenda sana kuimba. We could eat supper. Tungekula supper. Alafu tunachukua ile nyimbo za za kuinera agai. Yeah. Nyimbo si ya kiroho. Yeah, si ya kiroho. Tunaimba. Tunaimba. Tunaimba hizo nyimbo za kuinera. Tulijua hiyo kitabu. Hiyo kitabu. Usiku. Usiku. Kwa moto na mianzi na ma, na, ma, na mawe. Yeah. Tunaangalia hivi. Tunaimba. Tunaangalia na Tunaimba nyimbo kama 20 zimefuatana. Uh -huh. Tulipenda kuimba sana. Sana. Unaweza kumbuka Margaret? Bwana asifiwe. Mm. Tulipenda kuimba. Tulipenda sana. Leo hii. Uh -huh. Leo hii. Obodhi. I am sure niko na uhakika. I am sure niko na uhakika. Our mother is not ashamed. Mama yangu haibiki. 
when we say we are when she say we are they are her children wakati anaposema sisi ni watoto wake god has not allowed her to be ashamed mungu hajaruhusu akaibike we are not ashamed hatuaibiki that's why paul said ndio sababu paul anasema we are not ashamed of the gospel hatuaibiki injili for it is the power of god and to salvation kwa sababu ndio nguvu ya mungu iletayo wokovu how many are with me bwana asifiwe asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah bless be the name of the lord asifiwe may god make you mungu akufanye that this pro kuwa wa kuonyesha of his prender urembo na uzuri wake in your health katika afya in your children watoto wako in your marriage in your business biashara ni mbaya in your ministry katika huduma yako may god make you a what a display kwa kufanya cha kuonyesha tell your neighbor i am a display mwambie jirani mimi ni display of the splendor ya urembo of god wa mungu in jesus name kwa jina la yesu we say last sunday tukasema jumapili leo come here teacher kemani most people who are new anchors watu ambao ni watangazaji they normally don't buy their clothes hawanunui mavazi yao they come to the to breathe the news in the tv wanapokuja kusoma news kwenye tv yako they look wonderful wanakaa wazuri like teacher kemani this morning kemani vile amevalia leo bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe and then at the end of the interview baada ya ma or reading the news or whatever ama kutangaza habari they say wanasema the jacket he caught is made by who sete fashion industry imetengenezwa na city fashion shati shati ni kutoka kwa nick yeah tuko pale muidibigu avenue muidibigu kiatu kiatu ni kutoka kwa house of leather house of leather yeah nywele nywele imetengenezwa na ashres ashres bwana sifiwe kwa hivyo wale watu ambao wanatengeneza hizo vitu aha wanajua maana ticha kemani anaonekana Kenya mzima yeah. na watu wakiangalia tv yeah. wakibarisha yeye koti nzuri watu wasikie hiyo koti inapatikana wapi yeah. wataenda kununua yeah. si ni kweli ni kweli Bwana, na wanapeana namba yao ya simu, ya simu. shati yeah. watu wataenda kutafuta yeah. pants pants ni kwa kwa lugha nzuri ya kisungu hii inaitwa pants, pants. na ni ni longi lakini inaitwa pants inatengenezwa na na kina nani ni kina nani wanatengeneza hmm? ninyi mnajua mahali mnanunua ati sir lorenz sir lorenz yeah. na kiatu house of leather yeah. bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo akimaliza tu kwa, kwa ina, watu wanapiga simu I want that kind of a shoe. I want that kind of a shirt. I want that kind of a jacket. Haka kanaka kama kale ka Yusuf. Kama rangi mingi. Kanaka kale ka Yusuf. Wengine unakuja wanafanya katu Kila mtu anatamani kuwa na hiyo ka jacket. Si ni kazuri jamani? Kazuri. Naye Mungu Mungu Sikilizeni. Naye Mungu anataka nini? Akufanye display. Ngai aleda ago tuwe kitu ya kuonania. Ili nigeza. Watu wakikuona aduma kuona. Wanatamani hiyo kajake. Wanatamani hiyo jamii. Wanatamani watoto kama hao. Wanatamani viatu kama hizo. Kwa sababu wewe display, wewe ni display ya Mungu. May God make you his display Hallelujah. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you teacher Kemani. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Now, sasa, I went further, nikaenda mbele zaidi, and I saw this word. Nikaona neno hili, to bestow on them, kuwawekea, it says, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to, to bestow, bestow on them, on them a crown of beauty instead, instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead, instead of mourning, and, and a garment of praise instead, instead of, of a spirit of despair. They will be called Acts of, of righteousness, righteousness a planting of the Lord, Lord for the display of his prayer. I got the word bestow. Nikachukua neno hilo kuavika. Bestow, kuavisha. And I followed it. Na nikalifuata. What does it mean to bestow? Inamaanishaje? Everybody now hear me because this is where we are headed. Skizeni. The word bestow, kuekuavika. Listen, it means ni kumaanisha to present it to as a gift. Kupeana kwa kama kipawa If I want to give my brother John Robbie a gift nikitaka kumpa ndugu yangu kipawa I will best 
Nitamwekea. Everybody look here. I am bestowing on him. Ninamwekea. It becomes his. Inafanyika yake. It also means pia inamaanisha. The word bestow. Pia hilo neno kuwapa. To put on like clothes. Kuvalisha, kuvisha, kuvika. Amen. Amen. For example, kwa mfano, if I want to give him, nikitaka kumpatia this jacket. Jacket hii, it means inamaanisha kama hiyo piece na nani na sami. I will call people nitaita watu who are going to bestow ambao watamvisha on him. Kuvisha. Like put him on cloth. Kama kuvalisha nguo. So he they are bestowing. Wanamvisha. They are putting on him. Wanamvalisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now put, when you put him put it on him. You are bestow bestowing is to put on like clothes. And they make sure Wana that he is smart. Ya kwamba amekuwa nadhifu. Msifunge kwa sababu ya joto. Acha kaa hivyo. Hata aonyeshe time nzuri ana kaa poa. What have they done? Wamefanya. They have bestowed on him. Wamemvika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the word to bestow. Neno kuvisha. It means to give like a gift. Inamaanisha kupatia kama kipawa. Oh to make somebody wear something like a coat. Ama kusababisha mtu avalie kitu kama vazi. Now seven things. Mambo saba. That God will make you to bestow or will bestow on you. Ambayo Mungu atakuvisha. Listen to me. Nisikize. Very fast. I have only a few minutes. One. God will bestow on you. Mungu atakuvisha glory utukufu. Glory utukufu. Psalm 3 verse 3. Zaburi 3 mstari wa 3. All the scriptures are in NIV. Maandiko haya yote ni katika tafsiri ya NIV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody read with me one to three. But you are a shield around me. Oh Lord, you bestow glory on me and lift up my head. The first thing God want to bestow on you. Cha kwanza Mungu anakuvisha is God glory. Inaitwa utukufu. Glory. Utukufu. Number two. Pili. What else does God want to bestow on you? Is God good yes. Ni wema. Psalm that one verse 19. Zaburi 31 mstari wa 19. I am finishing very fast. Ninamaliza kwa haraka. Psalm that one verse 19 says. Zaburi 31 mstari wa 19. Everybody read with me if you can one two three. How, How great is your goodness which you have Told up for, for those who, who fear you, which you bestow in the sight, in the sight of, of men on those who take refuge in, in you. you. Those people what wow. who who take their refuge in God. God will show them his goodness. And he will bestow on them his goodness na atawavisha kuwavika wema wake number three. Tatu. what else does god want to bestow Nini. in your life nini mungu anakuvisha maisha ni mwako hona and vever heshima na kibari hona and vever heshima na kibari psalm 84 verse 11 zaburi 34 mstari wa 11 psalm 84 verse 11 84 mstari wa 11 everybody read with me one two three. for the lord god is a son and shield the lord bestows favor and honor no good thing does he will be hold from them who walk as what brameless amen amen that means in a man if you walk a brameless life before god ukitembea maisha yasiyo na rawama mbele za mungu god has promised to bestow in your life ameahidi kukuvisha glory utukufu and honor na heshima geteo na weka hata na kuwekerero amen glory and honor utukufu na the first one is what glory ya kwanza ni wa gai the second one is goodness ya pili ni wa gai the third one is ya tatu is what honor and favor favor kuendeka na kuteeka ehe amen bali na number four number four thing god will bless on you a new name jina jipya isaiah 62 verse 2 isaiah 62 mstari wa pili isaiah 62 verse 2 isaiah 62 mstari wa pili isaiah 62 verse 2 everybody read one two three the nations will see you are righteousness and all things you are glory You will be called by, by a new name that, that the mouth of, of the Lord will bestow. Amen. Amen. God will bestow 
upon you Mungu atakupatia a new name Jina jipya a new name Jina jipya Here on earth hapa duniani Jabez Jabez was had a bad name alikuwa na jina mbaya god bestowed him a new name mungu akampatia jina jipya he became the most prosperous akafanyika aliyefanikiwa zaidi abraham became abraham became abraham abraham jacob became israel yakobo akafanyika israel sarai became sara sarai akafanyika sara amen amen how many are with me hallelujah sao became Paul. Sauli akafanyika Paulo. God changes names. Mungu anabadilisha majina. Until now, baka sasa. People know you as a struggler. Watu wanakujua kama mnganganaji. But God when he bestows on you a new name. Lakini Mungu anapokupa jina jipya, you will be known as a millionaire. Utajulikana kama millionaire. People know you as a seeking person. Watu wanakujua kama aliye mgonjwa. But God want to bestow on you a new name. Lakini Mungu anataka akupatie jina jipya. You shall be called the healer of the Lord. Utaitwa aliyeponywa na Mungu. People until now. Oh, sasa watu they call you mama soko. Wanakuita tu mama soko. Mama soko. Mama soko. Ama mama sijui nani. Boga. Ha? Eh. But let me tell you the truth. Lakini wacha nikwambie ukweli. As you walk with God. Unapotembea na Mungu. That name mama soko. Jina hilo mama soko. Will be changed. Litabadilishwa. To become the Red Road Lady. Ufanyike la. She is a Red Road. Red Lady. She is a Red Road. Yeye ndiye mwenye nyumba. Where do you live? Unaishi wapi? I live in that road. Naishi kwa ile boda. Oh, that lady. Ya yule mama. Who used to be mama soko. Ambaye alikuwa mama soko. She is no longer mama soko. Sasa sio mama soko. Now she is a red road. Are you here in me? How many are with me born as a It doesn't matter where you are born. It doesn't matter which school you attended. Shule gani uliosomea? We attended Tegat Primary School. Tulisomea Tegat Primary School. Tegat Primary School. Tegat Primary School. It was made up of mud and baboons. Ilikuwa imetengenezwa na mianzi na matope. And the mud would come out. Na matope ingeli. During the break, wakati wa break. At times you don't have to go through the door. Haungepitia tu kwa mlango. Because the, the, there are windows all of kuna mapango na Kwa una, 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 unaingia tu kwa mwanzi unaingia kwa mwanzi huko nje unapata break unaingia pande ile nyingine <laughs> break kiisha wengine wakisunguka kwenda kutafuta mlango wewe unaingilia kwa kimwanya huko ndani ya darasa hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni tegat hamen with me bwana sifiri but today leo we are not in tegat. Hatuko tegat today we are singing a different Leo, song tunaimba wimbo tofauti may god change your name mungu abadilishe jina lako may god lato. bestow you a new name mungu akupatie jina jipya are you hearing me unanisikia how many of you men tell now bless the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah lift up your hands say my father my father my father may you bestow on me niweke a new name jina jipya in jesus name ka jina la yesu amen and amen amen number 5 number 5 God will bestow on you. Mungu atakupa strength. Nguvu. Strength. Nguvu. Strength. Nguvu. Psalm 89 verse 19. Zaburi 89 mstari wa 19. It says. Nasema. Psalm 89 verse 19. 89 19. Everybody read you can want to read. Once you spoke in a vision to your faithful people, you said I have bestowed strength on a warrior. I have exalted a young man from among the people. One, two, three. Once, once you spoke in a vision to your to your faithful people, you said, "I have, I have bestowed strength on a warrior." Woo! Hallelujah! Amen. I have exalted a young man from among the people. May you be the young man from the people and by Mungu atainua na ataweka ndani yako nguvu kama ya shujaa wa kupigana vita. Amen. 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 Wangapi mko na mimi? When people graduate, watu wanapofuzu, they are given power, wanapewa nguvu and, and strength na uweza according to their qualification. Kulingana na hitimu zao. God is looking for young people. Mungu anatafuta vijana who are faithful. Walo men and women. Waume kwa wake. Young men, vijana and young ladies. Na vijana wa kike. And on them, na juu yao. As they be faithful to him. Wanapokuwa waaminifu kwa. He will bestow atawavika the strength of a warrior. Nguvu kama ya mpiga vita. 
Hallelujah. 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 And he will exalt them. Na tawainua. I say he will exalt them. Tawainua. I say he will exalt them. Tawainua. May the Lord exalt you. Bwana kuinue. In this service today as you hear me. Katika ibada hii leo unaponisikia. May you start your journey to being exalted. Anza safari yako ya kuinuliwa. May you receive strength of a warrior. Never says in another place. Saudi and Samu Mala Pengine. With the strength of my God, I can scale a wall. And with my God on my side, I can overcome a city. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Number, number six, I have to finish. I don't want to stay. By the way, I don't want to preach. Number seven. Number six. Yes, sir. That tells you I want to finish. Some blessing God will bestow blessing. Mungu atakupatia baraka. Someone that dream as me. Zaburi 133 mstari wa 3. Our auntie read it was this yesterday. Auntie alitusomea hii jana. It is us. It is everybody read with me 1 2 3. It, it is, is as if the deal of Ammon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the, the Lord best bestows his blessing even life forevermore Amen. these are the blessings of the family and men and women of God a church kanisa. of people and men and women kanisa la watu ume kwa who have decided to dwell together in unity in that unity Katika of purpose ule umoja wa kusudi, it is called unity of purpose umoja wa kusudi, unity of vision umoja wa maono, unity of direction umoja wa mwelekeo, unity of plan umoja wa mipango in other words you are directed towards a cause when people dwell in that unity of God and they disable God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit who are always one in that place God bestows blessing Mungu anamuru baraka anachilia Amen. Amen. that means it is not always easy for people to say Blessed how it is to have one to dwell together in unity. That means there are people who will never be able to dwell together in unity. They will never. Because the devil will fight to make sure they never. So that they miss, they miss the bestowment, bestowment of blessing. Amen. That is number six. Number seven. Yes, sir. The last thing today. God want to bestow on your life. Mungu angependa aashilie jiwe maisha yako. Wealth. Utajiri. Somebody say wealth. Wealth. Let me prove to you. Wacha nikudhibitishie. By the Bible. Kupitia Biblia. Proverbs 8 verse 20. Mithari 8 mstari wa 20. Proverbs 8 verse 20. Mithari 8 mstari wake wa 20. It is it is says. Inasema. What does it say? Let's read together 1 2 3. I walk, I walk in the way of, of righteousness along the path of justice eh uh, 21 bestowing, bestowing wealth on those who love me and making their treasures full need it again one two three I, I walk in the way of righteousness, righteousness along the, the path of justice bestowing wealth on those who love me and, and making their treasures full amen. amen how many love the lord if you love the lord kama unapenda bwana hear me as a man of god nisikie kama mtumishi wa mungu there is something that will become your trademark kuna kitu ambacho kitaonyesha wewe ni nani number one. cha kwanza god will lead you in his ways of righteousness mungu atakuongoza katika njia zake za haki his paths of justice njia zake za haki Those who intend to do you harm they will never succeed. Wale ambao nakusudia kukudhuru hawatafauru. Those who intend to destroy you and steal from you they will never succeed. Wanao kusudi kukuharibu na kukuibia hawatafauru. Those who intend to do short the deals they sell you a plot that is not there. They sell you a car and which is not there. They steal your money they will never succeed in Wanao Jesus name. Wanao jaribu kupanga kukutapeli kukuuzia maproti na magari ambayo hayako hawatafauru katika Jesus. Because you walk in the way of righteousness god will lead you in the way of righteousness and the path of justice manake unatembea katika njia za haki mungu atakuongoza katika njia za haki na 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 utakatifu how many understand what you are saying bwana asifiwe hallelujah hiyo mbona wengine wasielewe 
until those people who deal with the property Baka wale watu wanao shughulikia mali na manyumba those you may not understand Ayu. until you be in the presence of somebody like Jeff in Kirinyaga road hawezi elewa baka uwe kama mahali kama pa Jeff pale Kirinyaga road Kirinyaga road is made up of every crook huko kuna mali hii Kenya utawakuta Kirinyaga road huko ndipo utapata ili ufauru pale Kirinyaga road ili ufauru ufanye kazi ya magari na maspea part na nini unahitaji Mungu afanye nini akuongoze katika jia za haki na akuelekeze katika jia za utakatifu na kweli na akukuondolea mataperi mm. ah hizi si mwana za rununu mnaambiwa kila siku account yako imeshikanishwa na account ya fulani unahitaji utume hiyo utume namba hii ndio iondolewe unaporwa pesa na tangaza utaporwa pesa kupitia mambo ya simu hizi katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu gani ukimpenda Mungu atakuongoza kwenye njia za haki na atakuelekeza katika njia za utakatifu may that be your story in Jesus name iwe hadithi yako unaeleza sio hayo tu he will do what atafanyaje he will bestow what atakuweka atakupatia he will do what bestowing well atakupa utajiri ah hamuelewi haleluya hamuelewi wangapi wanaelewa bwana asifiwe god will bestow well mungu atakuvika utajiri on those who love me kwa wale wanaonipenda and make their treasures full na kufanya hazina zao zikajae God everybody lift up hand with me say my father my father my father my father may you lead me may you lead me in the way of your righteousness in the way of your righteousness and the peace and the, and the ways of justice and the ways of justice may you bestow on me may you bestow on me well well and may you make my treasure and may you make my treasure full 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 ni kusema nini kusemaje your kitchen shall not lack food ni yako haitakosa chakula God will make it full Mungu ataifanya ijaye Amen Amen Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Utafika mahali unauliza eh. leo watoto wanakula ni wanakula nini Hii nyumba hakuna sukari eh. hakuna mafuta eh. hakuna kitunguu eh. hakuna unga eh. hakuna makaa hakuna gezi na mnajua zinapenda kuishania zote mara moja. Mara moja baka unga ya ugali. Zinaishaka zote. Hata hata stima yeah. inaanza kwaza kwaza huyu tu akuchokoza. Yeah. Huyu tu token. Yeah. Tunaanza tu atakulia. Na zingine ziko na sauti mbaya yeah. ya kutisha. Yeah. Na saa hiyo hakuna gesi. Hakuna, hakuna makaa. Hakuna kuni. Hakuna unga. Hakuna baka chumvi chumvi imeisha kiberiti majani chai unatafutana na muti moja ya kiberiti e. inakosa kwa nyumba kwa nyumba nzima kiberiti muti moja moja inakulazimu utumane kwa jirani e. tafadhali ana kama mama odhiambo e. umuulize kama ako na muti moja atanisaidia muti ya kiberiti mishare kama tano ya kiberiti sisi kwetu kijiji tulikuwa kwenda kwa mama mukundi ama kwa mama maina ama kwa mama aidha kuomba moto kuomba moto kuhoya mwaki asubuhi Hey. Mumeamuka oh, moto ile muli muliweka kwa mkavunika na jivu imeisha <laughs> mama unauliza kitu ya kwa no robe kile mwaki nani alifunika nakwambia moto nakwambia kama wewe ndio uliweka moto vibaya ikaisha <laughs> wewe mbaya <laughs> hebu chukua hiyo karai kibia wewe kwanza ndio utaenda kuwaba moto <laughs> kwa jina mkundi kibia kwa mama mkundi mama mama mm. ina mama mama mm. nani mo unaenda una hodi Una, una hodi nimeambiwa munipee mo unakuta na wao ndio wanaasha wanakwambia <laughs> tuko tuna tuko tuna tumakatu ili unawekewa kamoja sasa unakimbia bwana asifiwe sana but as for now sasa hivi I prophesy to as a man of God. Jehova. Jehova. Lead you in the path of righteousness. And around the path of justice. Na njia za May he bestow. Hebu akuiwa. Maisha ni Lord. Utajiri. Lord. Utajiri. Lord. Utajiri. And make your treasure as full. Na fanya zina zako zijae. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Sika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen and amen. Amen. Pigeni Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Sasa uh-huh. as a good teacher of the word kama mwalimu mzuri wa neno I want to be very practical today nitaka kuwa 
wa kufanya ma, mazoezi ya Ticha kuna. kemani Ticha kemani Kuja Kuja hapa Pius Kuja, Kuja. Sam Kuja Kuja Wewe ndugu ndiye mm. amependa kama choni pa Bwana. Yep. Amen. Na kama vile ambavyo amekuwa display of his friend. Mm. Ni muhimu tuelewe hizo vitu Mungu anaweka kama display ni gani? Ni hizo saba zenye tumia. Ya kwanza ni gani? Goodness. Glory. Ya pili ni nini? Goodness. Goodness. Ya tatu ni nini? Hona and Viva. Ya ina ni nini? A new name. Ya tano ni nini? Strength. Eh? Strength. Eh? Strength. Ya sita ni nini? Blessing. Ya saba ni nini? Eh? Where then? Make your treasures full. Sasa. So. You will bestow on him. Sasa mtashika nini? Pins muishonere hapa. Ama hapa. Popote pare ambapo itaonekana. Muishonere hizo dizo. Pins akushonere. So the first one, God will bestow on you glory. You are the display of his splendor. Oh! Sasa yo diyo glory. Mungu anakufika nini? Glory. Utukufu. Haya. Ya pili ni nini? Goodness. Goodness. Diyo hii. Anabikwa goodness. Marisha heavy. Goodness. So that's my word. Udu, uyu ndugu amependa kama choni pa Bwana. Naye ni ndugu wa maombi, anapenda Mungu, anapenda maombi, anapenda kutumikia Mungu. Acha uone story yake. Namba 3 Mungu anavalisha ya nini? O oh, eh? Hona and Viva. Na scripture yenye inaongea kuhusu hiyo maneno iko hapo. Watu yoni, weka ni mbele. Weka mbele maana tunaona Naka chini mpaka kwa maromi yake Ya ina ni nini? New name Je wajua The Bible says when you arrive in heaven You will be given a stone That has a new name That nobody else known Knows about you except you and God Utaitua mama jude viguni Utaitu wana jina igini ya lataha sayi ya tu. New name. Lakini hini ya hapa duniani. Kapri wete biguni. You will be known by a new name. Wale walikuita maskini. Wachana na wawo. Hivi kariburi watakujua na jina igini. Na sisi kitabu kirefu. Before the end of this year. Wale watu walikuita survivor. Stolagora. Mushinduo. Eh? Eh? Wata kujua na jina ingine Gaukia mweza kwa muambia Hivi karibuni Utanijua na jina ingine Ya tano ni gani? Strength eh? Strength ndiyo hii Marisha hii strength Make me the display of your spray Of your spray Simonona hiyo bana kwa boat On the pulpit My father my God Make me your planting For the display of your spray of your splendor that's part of my teaching here today number six ni blessings, baraka eh uyu ndugu watatembea kwa baraka what is blessing blessing is the power to succeed that's what blessing is blessing is the power to succeed blessing is the power to succeed baraka ni nguvu ya kukwezesha what is a curse curse is the power to fail Laana ni nguvu ya kukufanya ufeli. 
Curses is the power to fail. La, Blessing is the power to succeed. Laana ni nguvu ya kukufanya uanguke. Nabaka ni nguvu ya kukufanya ufaulu. Number 7. Number 7 ni nini? Wealth and making the treasure is full. Huyu jamaa ametajirika. Kutoka hapa yeye ni sonko. Yeah. Unasemaga sonko sonko hapa buri buri hii. Ah, Huyu ndiye sonko wa Mungu. Cha hivi vitu vingine mnaita hapa sonko. Ana siasa. Haleluya. Sasa huyu jamaa anawekwa kwa kio. Dear display. Maisha yake inakuwa is display. Display. Aki display, ana display nini? Glory. Ana display nini? Glory. Honor and Baba. A new name. Blessing, wealth, strength, goodness. Goodness. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Everybody close your Bible close your Bible. Mimi siongei kitu kingine simameni. 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 Simama hapa kuna watu hawakuona. Kaa kama display. Kaa kama hata unaweza jisikilia kwa hiyo. Unakaa display. Imagine mtu ametebea na Mungu maisha yake inawekwa kwa kwa display. You know Mungu anakuweka mahali watu waangaliage maisha yako. You are in his display. Wanasoma na wewe. Wanasoma na wewe. Maana maisha yako inadhihirisha. The things Mungu amekuvalisha kama nguo. Huh? The first one is Glory, honor and favor, a new name, blessings, wealth, a good name, strength and strength. Bwana asifiwe. Everybody lift up your hand with me. Make a prayer right now. Anyaombi sasa. And I want you to make this prayer honestly from your heart. Ningependa ufanye ombi hii. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the year 2018. In the year 2018. May you bestow. May you bestow. Upon my life. Upon my life. Glory. Glory. Goodness. Goodness. Strength. Strength. Honor and favor. Honor and favor. A new name. A new name. Strength, good, honor and praise. A new name. 
And you remain discouraged And you remain a nobody And you remain a struggler And you remain a role person You remain somebody without a direction Somebody without vision When this things comes in your life You will sit in the same table with the great people when these things come in your life You will take the next flight to Dubai You will know the beaches of the world You will drive the best vehicles You will eat, you will eat the good of the land When these things come over your life Your life will be different Not only here on earth But also in heaven Amen, Amen. May God bestow the same on you What is it lacking now? Is it the glory? Is it the goodness? David says sure the goodness And master shall follow me All the days of my life is that strength? Is that glory? Is that honor? Is that a new name? Is that blessing? Proverbs 10.22 It is the blessing of the Lord that make a three turning also Is that 12? Yes. Deuteronomy 18 I, I, I am the Lord your God who will give you wisdom on how to make wealth this is what the Bible is all about. Hivi ndivyo Biblia ilivyo. Amen. How many are with me? Blessed be the name of the Lord. And as you lift up your hand, may it come upon you now. And I say again, as you lift up your hand, may what is lacking your life start to manifest. I prophesy to you as a man of God. This day. On this altar, in this season, in this year, may Jehovah bestow upon your life glory, goodness, strength, honor, and joy. And you know, blessings, and well, and well. Somebody say, I am a man of well. I am a man of well. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Now Father, Baba, follow this word today. And make it true. Upon everyone who have heard me. In Jesus name. May this picture picture he be internalized in our minds. And change our life. Bestow on us. Will cause us to wear like clothing. Your glory. Your goodness. Your strength. Your honor and glory. And your name. Blessings. And well. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. For you are doing the same. For this is exactly what you did to most. All those who walked with you. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody shout amen. amen. I say if you believe it, shout amen. amen. If this is your story and you are believing, this is what God will do for you. Lift up your hands and make a shout of celebration. Somebody preach to them. Tell them, may the Lord, may the Lord, bestow upon your life, bestow upon your life, glory, glory, honor and favor, honor and favor, goodness, goodness, strength, strength, a new name, a new name. What else? Blessings, blessings. blessings. What else? And well, and well, and well. This year, this year, in this season, in this season. That's my prayer for you. That's, that's my prayer, prayer for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Receive it. Wow. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. And do you know the good things with our God? Mazuri kusu mungeet kwetu. Aki se mata kubaliki. Ulala ka suya. Hakuna 
kuna mwenye anaweza nyanganya wewe kuna anaweza zuia kuna anaweza nyanganya ni labi your story my brother brother in jesus name enda enda ukae kama mtu amebariki kuja 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 wale mnaangalia going beyond program katika kingdom tv may this be your story in jesus name Natangaza waacha Mungu afike maisha yako utukufu na heshima na nguvu na kupendeka na kibali na jina jipya baraka utajiri wema na fadhili may this be your story in Jesus mighty holy name receive i declare the body of the man of God in Jesus name amen 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 power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power